Alright, it's Catch Play Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're gonna be talking about the splits between Kendrick and Drake and how much money both of these guys are making, who's signed, who's not signed, what deals they have. We got a video from my man right here. We're gonna announce his name, everything, put it in the you know in the description. So you can go subscribe to this young man's channel. You know what it is. So let's get to it, man. All right, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. If you want to donate to this cash pad, right there, links in the description. Also, too, if you want us to do a personal reaction, cue card is on the screen and all that good stuff. Make sure you like this video. It pushes us up in the algorithm. And we have a sketch pad reactions channel. Everybody go over there and subscribe to that channel. That will be in the description too as well, right at the top. So all you got to do is click that and subscribe to that channel for the reactions. Hey man, look, urban legend, Will Evans, he breaks it down. I love his content. Subscribe to this man channel. I will tag him in this video so he can see that we reacted to his channel. So we're going to watch this video and we're going to come back and discuss. So let's go. People are asking why will UMG want the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef to stop? Here's the reason why. Urban Legend Will Evans, you know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, bro. We have Drake's record deal right here in front of us. Now, I'm going to get into that in a second. I'm going to show you guys what it is and I'm going to break it down for you guys on what it means. But I want to show you guys something that was interesting that Steve Stout said when Drake was going for negotiation for his contract in 2020. Steve Stout, who's a music industry executive, he said this about Drake's entrepreneur, or excuse me, uh, about Drake's free agency. He said, Drake is about to get the biggest bag in the history of the music business by far. You think that if Drake right now, completely independent, if Drake posts a picture on the gram of his new album with a link in bio, new album out, and he was fully independent, Drake would make 10 million a week for 60 weeks. Steve Stout also. That's cat. That's cat. That's cat. He would not make ten million dollars a week. That's fucking cat. But we're gonna keep it going. So sad. If Drake goes independent, the music business is over. Get Drake the has fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. The music business is over if Drake goes independent. Bro, there's millions and millions and millions of artists on this planet. There's artists that's bigger than Drake on this planet, bro. If Drake goes independent, the music industry is over with. That's fucking cat. Oh, my God. I know he didn't say it, but I just had to say that. But go ahead. The bargaining power to negotiate a net profit split with the best deal, blah, 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 blah. Now, that's what was said. So that tells you guys how important it was to get a deal done for a uh, universal music group with Drake. So they did get a deal done and we have it right here in front of us. I want to give it to you guys and I want to break it down. This is what the article says. This is from AOL.com. They reported uh, what Drake's record deal was. It says after rampant speculation about a bidding war for his services, Drake appears to have finalized a mega deal with universal music group that can net him $400 million when it's all said and done. An official figure has yet to be disclosed According to industry insiders, the deal will cover Drake's recordings, publishing, merchandise, and visual media projects. I'm going to break all those down in a second. All four of those are different, and I'm going to break them down in a second what that means. It says in a report by Variety, the new military the news gadgets of the are agreement, transforming uh, was people's confirmed condition on Tuesday, and May 3rd, by UMG Universal Music Group chairman Sir Lucian Grange. So Lucian Grange confirmed that this is the record deal that Drake got $400 million for his recordings publishing, merchandise, and visual media projects. That's what Drake gave up. They gave him $400 million for that. All right, let me stop that. 
gave up, they gave him $400 million for that. Um, and this is a, a similar deal to what The Weeknd got, is what the article says. So, let's break this down, bro. What does that mean? If you don't know the music business, you got to understand that this is a 360 deal, essentially. This is essentially, you give up everything that pertaining to your likeness, we want to own it, but we're going to give you half a billion dollars. Um, and that's what Drake did. So, Let's break it down one by one. Recordings. Drake's recordings, publishing, merchandise, and visual media project. Recordings is anything that he get on the mic and say. If Drake get on the mic and rap, if Drake get on the mic and sing, if Drake get on the mic and poopity scoop, like Kanye West, they own that. All that music, Drake don't own his own music. So when you guys see Kendrick Lamar is able to go um, and say, you know what, all the YouTubers, y'all can make money off my music, bro, I ain't tripping. I'm taking all the copyrights down. Y'all go ahead and make all that money. That was a big middle finger to the industry because Kendrick Lamar can. He has the power because he owns his music to be able to say, uh, you know, everybody can make money off my music right now. Drake don't have that power because he don't own his music. So that was a, when Kendrick did that. That was a big middle finger to the industry to kind of it was a flex. It was a flex on Drake. Like, bro, I don't even got to get paid off of all my music. And I'm still you feel what I'm saying? I'm for the culture. Um, so that was the flex that Kendrick Lamar did. So Drake can't do that because they own his recordings, his music recordings, right? Now, publishing. Publishing is the ability to license the music out. What does that mean? When we hear um, Kendrick Lamar song on TNT during the NBA playoffs, right? That's licensing. UMG owns Kendrick Lamar's publishing, right? And I don't know if they own 100% of it, but I know they have a percentage of Kendrick Lamar's publishing. So both Drake and Kendrick have deals with UMG, but... Kendrick's deal is a publishing deal, not not directly. You know what I mean? They don't like they don't own everything Kendrick uh, has. They own everything Drake has. Big difference. So when people say, why would UMG want to get involved? The label making money regardless, because they have a longer term investment in Drake. When all this is said and done, they don't want these allegations to hurt Drake's career. Yeah, they like the battle. They like the streaming money. They like what they're making in the short term. But in the long term, for, from a business perspective, they don't want um drake's image to be tarnished to the point where they can't make money off him in the future because we just gave him 400 million in 2022 that was two years ago so we're trying to still recoup our money and make some more we can't have his image tarnished and the thing the product that we just bought be worthless essentially so they need drake to kind of win this beef or come out you know a little more clean than what he's been coming out lately so that's the reason why people like oh the, the label will make money regardless no 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 Yes, they will make money in the short term regardless. In the long term, it hurts them very badly if Drake doesn't, uh, if, if he loses his career behind all these allegations, man. So his publishing, that's licensing uh, the music out. So if you hear a song on a movie, if you hear a song on TV, a commercial, well, whoever want to pay to use one of these artists' song on their project or whatever is going on, that's what publishing is. UMG owns that too from Drake. Merchandise. So when y'all see them OVO Jordans, when you see the OVO Nikes, this is why people are saying, or not people, this is why the reports are saying, you know, Drake has a, a, a Nike deal. And, you know, when they saying that UMG wants Kendrick Lamar to apologize because uh, Nike is calling and the NFL is calling and all these major corporations are calling. That's why, bro, because Drake has a merchandise deal with UMG. So they own his merchandise, too. So when y'all see the OVO sweaters and the owl, the owl, uh, uh, all the, you know, merch and stuff like that. And you see the OVO Jordans. Yeah, they own that. UMG owns that. They gave Drake four hundred million dollars so they can own that, too. So um, that's a big that's a big part of it, too, because Nike is going to call and they have some say so in what's going on between Kendrick and Drake because of that. Right. Uh, and visual media projects, visual media projects. So that means music videos. That means interviews. This is why we don't see no whole bunch of interviews from Drake interviews. Um, you know, your, your music videos, um, if he does a film project, anything that you, anytime you get on camera and it's not music related, but you just did a visual media project, visual media project, not visual music project, not just music videos, visual media project. Anytime you get on camera, we own that too. His whole life is owned by UMG. Now they gave him $400 million. So they supposed to get something back for $400 million on a business level. Um, but also it restricts him a lot. And from what I'm hearing, this ain't confirmed, but I've seen reports that Drake is required to put out two albums a year. Um, people think that Drake drops all the time and they give Kendrick a lot of backlash. Like, why don't Kendrick drop? Kendrick can drop when he want. You know, he drops once every three or four or five years because he has the freedom to. You know what I mean? Drake don't have that freedom. They gave you 400 million. They expecting something from you. So 
um, if you don't think that the industry has a significant investment in Drake winning versus Kendrick Lamar, or at least coming out like it, making it look even like they on the same level, they don't want a landslide from Kendrick and they definitely don't want allegations uh, like what's being thrown around about Drake out, you know, for the long term investment. Um, so you got to understand if you gave somebody four hundred million dollars, how would you feel? What would you be willing to do to protect it? What would you be willing to do? Are you expecting four hundred million back if you give somebody four hundred million? No. If I give you four hundred million dollars, I'm trying to get a billion back. You know, I'm trying to get my investment to flip. So they're looking at it from the same perspective as business. And they're very, very, very invested in what Drake got going on. So that's his deal, man. Um, You guys got to look at it from a broader perspective. Stop looking at it from the small perspective. Uh, because it's a lot it's a lot of different things going on. So it's really Kendrick Lamar versus the music industry. And this is why Kendrick is saying all these lines like show me your splits. I promise I'll double back with you. Like I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Pause. No diddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why Kendrick is saying all these F the industry lines in these songs. When he's saying F the industry and all that, that's the reason why, bro, because he knows what's going on behind the scenes. He knows that y'all investing in this dude long term and y'all don't own nothing from me. So you know, of course, in the short term, the publishing and the licensing money that the, the UMG is making off Kendrick because they have a publishing deal with Kendrick. Um, they like that. But in the long term, we own Drake like we own Drake's everything. So I want Drake to either be even or come out on top. And I don't want his brand to be tarnished to the point where we can't make money on him after this. We want to use this as promotion for what comes next. And that's what's going on, bro. So there you guys have it, man. That's Drake's record deal. Um, he don't own nothing. From from what I'm reading in this article, Drake don't own nothing in his career. Um, he has to do what he's told. And it's important to remember this, too. And I'm going to leave it at this. When you start seeing images of grown men, 40 year old men painting their fingernails and wearing breaths in their hair and hanging out with certain artists, certain type of artists, certain type of people. It's a reason why it's an agenda being pushed, bro. So I'm going to leave that there, man. That's all I got for you guys. Urban Legend 11, you know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. All right, man. Shout out to Urban Legends, Will Evans, man. That was a great breakdown, great video, man. Um, all that, all that other shit in the beginning with the dude was saying that Drake, if he stops, if he goes independent, the music industry will shut down. It's like, come on, man. There's other artists that are bigger than Drake that is independent. Like, stop capping. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. Um. I think that uh, Kendrick, I think Kendrick doing that, the whole uh, move of letting everybody license out his mu his music and not and and not getting paid him not getting paid for it and he just letting everybody get paid, that was probably one of the best moves ever in hip hop history, when it comes to streamers. That's revolutionary. There's no artist has ever done that. You know what I'm saying? On that scale. There's artists that done it before. Or some of them might split the, resi the resi residuals with you. But an artist at, at his magnitude for him to say, listen, y'all could just, y'all can make all the money y'all want off of this. I'm good. That right there is a game changer. Because if he's doing it, I can imagine it's going to be a lot of people doing that now because they're going to say to themselves, this is advertisement and it's free advertisement because guess what? Everybody's going to react to my music, especially if they know I'm going to get paid for it. They're going to get paid. So if they're going to get paid, they're going to react to everything. And if they can react to it 10 times, they will. And guess what happens when you react to it 10 times? That means that I get 10 views, 10 streams. So I make money too, right along with you. So mm -hmm. his song, not like us, 30 million views. So he's getting paid and everybody else is getting paid. That's the genius move of what he did. That's a genius move. Like, I, I just don't understand how people don't think that that's, that that's crazy to me. So, but anyway, and Drake, Drake's always been a guy who makes it seem like 
He's a boss. He's in charge. Now, don't get me wrong. Drake has money. Of course, Drake has money. But he doesn't own anything. He doesn't own nothing. Nothing. But it is what it is. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, first of all, the whole situation uh, with Kendrick doing what he did, that that definitely is hip hop history. And that was probably the coolest thing that an upper echelon artist like himself could possibly do for for streamers, for reactors, for podcasters, for everyone. Because the songs that he got that he put out during this whole situation are going to benefit. He's going to benefit. The reactors are going to benefit. It's just a, it's just everybody's going to make money. Nobody's going to get left astray, you know. And when we discussed it off camera, I was like, "Damn, that's what's up." That's what's up because we've seen artists do stuff like that, but not to this magnitude. Like, let's 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 be for real. Kendrick Lamar is like, he's like the guy. So it's like, you know, even though there was other artists that did it, they're not in the same position Kendrick Lamar is as far as maybe financially or whatever. So he could afford to do something like that. He could also afford to, you know what I'm saying? He also could afford to, like, you know, not to. It really don't matter. And if you, and as far as uh, Drake's whole situation, you know what I mean? Um, that gives it more and more reason, you know, for people to actually believe that, you know, they set up, they set up the whole situation as far as his van, the, the vandalized a uh, store. And his home being shot up or whatever happened, you know, whatever happened in that whole situation. Like that just gives him more more of uh life because now we hear something like this, people automatically gonna go right back to what we just said. Uh, you know, that um that it could possibly allegedly be a a, a ruse just to uh get you know, people off of uh, Drake's back. So, but um, but yeah, man. We already knew kind of like somebody was going to lose something in this whole situation. You know, um, we already knew. You know, what I mean, this is what this is what he asked for. He asked for he asked for this type of smoke. So it's like now you got it. And now look what it's doing. You know, you were better off just rapping and not really, not really getting into the whole situation with the whole family thing. You were better off just rapping. But sometimes experience is the best teacher. The way it is. All right. All right, man. We out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye, man.